Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am back with another interesting topic in the Tosca automation playlist. So now we are going to talk about how we can create and manage branches in Tosca workspaces. Now, if you're working in a multi-user workspace and you are working in a big team uh, where you have got different Tosca automation specialists working on the same project or different releases of the same project or the application itself, right? You have to find a way of how you can uh, basically work separately on different features or uh, different releases, right? So different people uh, will be developing different test cases for uh, same application or different application. But uh, you need to find a way how you can manage all this different work and then merge everything into one place so that uh, that can be uh, used uh, in the coming up release, right? Or uh, in the next automation run uh, when you want to run all the test cases which have been developed recently by all these different Tosca automation specialists. To do this, Tosca also provides you with a feature where you can create different branches and you can basically uh, merge these branches into the master branch and then you can also delete these branches, right? So the concept which Tosca follows is pretty much similar to the Git workflow, uh, which is displayed here. You can see there is a main branch, right? So this light blue color, this is the main branch, and you can see there are different versions of this main branch. But then there are development branches, okay? So this purple color are all the development branches and they could be linked to a particular version okay now each development branch is independent of uh, each other right so any developer who is uh, has created a branch from this version 0 0.1 can work on its own features and once it is completed uh, it can merge his changes to this version 0 0.1 right and then start working on 0 0.2 so this way it will be easier to manage uh, different features uh, where different developers are working and nobody will be basically uh, overwriting or overriding changes uh, of some other developer right everybody will be working independently but uh, at a later point of time when uh, all the features are completed you can merge everything into the master branch or the main branch okay so that's the concept uh, which is followed uh, in the source code repository like Git or any other uh, SCM tool uh, if you have worked upon. And the SIM concept applies for Tosca as well. So you can create different branches from a master branch, okay? So your multi-user workspace uh, will be your master branch which you have created. And then uh, as an admin, you can create different branches out of this master branch, right? And then uh, from that uh, branches, which has been created by the admin, different uh, Tosca users can work on those branches. They can create their own repository or uh, they can create their own workspace out of that branch and they can keep on working on that repository, which has got that branch. Okay, and once they are finished, then the admin uh, will come back and uh, it will merge that branch to the master branch. Obviously, there, if there are any conflicts, uh, it will be either merged or removed, right? And uh, this way, you can manage your uh, Tosca workspace much better. If everybody starts working on the same uh, master workspace, then it will be very hard to manage and also very hard to maintain in the long run, okay? So this way you can uh, resolve conflicts easily. You can also work on different uh, test cases for different applications without impacting the main workspace, okay? So uh, this is uh, the concept of creating branches and managing branches, but let's have a look uh, in Tosca in real time how it looks like, how we can create branches, okay? Now coming back to Tosca, uh, we can launch our multi-user workspace from where we can create different branches. So we can consider this as our master branch. This contains all our shared libraries, all our main test cases, and all our uh, modules, right? Requirements, everything. 
and this is the main branch right for our project now there are different people in the team who want to work on different test cases and they want to work on different releases right so what we'll do we will come to this main branch we'll log in as an admin and then uh, we are going to create branches for these different users who are going to work on uh, different releases or different features uh, some additional features which we want to add to this particular project right so for this uh, right click on the root project and there you will find an option called create branch okay click on that it will ask you for a branch name so i will say multi and rc1 right so which is uh, maybe a release candidate one right so that's my first branch and once you do this you will see that it will give you a message that it was created successfully also in order to work with the new branch we need to save all changes to our current workspace close the workspace and then create a new workspace with this new branch which is called the multi rc1 right so all the steps are already mentioned here uh, we just need to follow all these three steps okay so what we are going to do uh, we have to check in all okay so although i have already checked in everything and then uh, we have to close this project our workspace and now uh, we need to open or create a new workspace with our new branch okay so that's uh, the previous workspace was with the master branch okay so you don't need to make any changes into the master branch and that's why we have created a new branch and now with this new branch we should create a new workspace as well okay so for this um, again i am going to select uh, sqlite okay and this time around you can see i can use the use existing repository uh, this check mark is there uh, and i have already a repository you can see this is my common repository for my multi work uh, multi user workspace right and then we have got another uh, field here called branch right now by default it will be master but if you have created more branches you will get it here so go ahead and select this multi rc1 branch and then uh, we will create a new workspace for this okay so uh, we will call it rc1 okay and then create this new workspace so now this new workspace is being created with a branch from the master branch right so this is like um, a branch uh, which where we can do our changes without affecting the master branch okay and we have got a separate repository for this branch as well okay so now um, again uh, we have to we can use the same user if you have created more users you can use that as well okay and let's go to our project now here is the project now even though the workspace name is same if you go uh, on the top you will see the tosca commander multi demo and the path of this uh, particular repository it is rc1.ws okay and the branch is multi rc1 even though the name is same it is not the same workspace the branch is different so whatever changes you make here will not affect the master branch okay so um, let's see now if i go ahead and create another test case here so let's check this out and uh, i am going to create a new test case here okay I'm going to name it tc3 now so this is what i have changed here let's go ahead check in all okay now uh, we have seen how we can create uh, a branch from the master branch right now once we have made changes uh, we have completed our all our changes in this particular branch we want to merge these changes back into the master branch right so everything is tested everything is working fine now let's go back and merge these changes okay so how you can do that check in your changes and then close this particular uh, repository okay or workspace and then um, let's go ahead and open our multi demo uh, project okay
and we will enter the password here and here uh, now again you can check uh, the workspace name is same but you can see the path is different and the branch is master okay so do take note of this although uh, in real world this will not happen like this i mean currently i am the only user here uh, who is managing all these different things but generally there will be an admin who will be managing the master branch okay and then there will be different uh, testers who will be working on their own branches so what they will do uh, once they have completed they will notify the admin and the admin will uh, log into the master branch and then he will merge all the branches which have been completed okay so it won't be one single user there will be different users but for now uh, i am doing uh, all the works so it may uh, sound or it may seem a little bit confusing okay okay but um, here uh, now we are in the master branch so when you right click on this you will also see an option called merge branch and this is how uh, you will merge different branches back to the master branch okay now you can see by default it has selected the multi rc1 because i don't have any other branches but you have got if you have got more branches um, then you can select any of the branch to get merged uh, into the master branch okay it will give you a warning the branch will permanently delete it uh, when you check in the op changed objects okay so now we will merge the changes here and let's go here and here you will see that uh, we have got now a third test case which is tc3 it came from the different branch which you had created rc1 right so i have added the tc3 there and now you can see those has been merged into the master branch and we can see here uh, it's been updated okay so this is how uh, you can uh, see that without affecting our master repository right or my master workspace we are making changes uh, we are making changes at a different level not at the master level and this makes our maintenance easier right also uh, nothing can basically enter into the master repository without being properly tested and executed okay so this will make sure that your master is always working as expected and no uh, unnecessary changes are being made into the master workspace right so whatever changes uh, people want to work on they will work on the branches but uh, nothing should come into the master branch without being tested properly and without being executed okay so now the last step uh, which is remaining in this particular workflow is to delete a particular branch okay so you can delete branches like this uh, you right click on the project and uh, then uh, click on delete branch now it is saying no branches available to delete and that is because uh, when we merge the ma branch to the master branch uh, that particular branch was already deleted okay but if you have uh, more branches uh, you can just right click and go to delete branch okay so these are the three functionality which is available create branch merge branch and delete branch and using these three functionalities uh, you can work on a branching workflow which is very similar to uh, any uh, source code management repository like git or github or there are many source code repositories if you have previously worked on um, you will understand how it works and the same concept can be applied uh, into the tosca workspaces to make it more maintainable more sustainable and uh, to make it uh, error free going forward right so that we have a clean master uh, branch uh, and then we we'll, we can uh, provide different branch uh, feature branches to all the different developers or testers who are working on different tosca projects or features that's all for this particular video if you have any questions then please leave it in the comments if you like this video then please subscribe to our channel thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video